I call them kids because many of the young journalists in Gaza are literally, my oldest two daughters are 22 and 24. Most of these young journalists are children. They're 20, 21, 22, who are forcing the world to see them, to understand them. And so now I have people who are so obsessed with Palestinians in Gaza that they follow that if those Palestinians don't post every four or five hours, they begin to panic and wonder, is my new favorite person that I pray for, that I cry for, that I wonder about, is he, is she okay? I saw a, a young woman named Bisan that I have grown to just love and admire. She said something that, that just that devastated me. She said, for 60 days, she had kept her three cats alive. And she had left her cats in her home only on day 60 for her home to be bombed and her cats to be killed. I have never cried over cats. I don't even like cats. <laughs> but how hard must it have been to keep three cats alive for 60 days in the apocalypse? And yet she had done it. And I saw nearly a million people that interacted with her post and grieved with her and said, Bisan, I'm sorry about your cats. <clears throat> and I did a simple survey and asked my followers, how many of you know a Palestinian by name? And almost 95% of my followers now know someone in Gaza by name. That is a earth-shattering shift from where we were on October the 6th, that now it's not a news story, it's not a link to click on, but there is a person that you know and love and care about. And that does not make someone Palestinian but it makes it real in a way that is real for almost everyone here. But now it's real for people all over the world. And that, that is something that no propaganda machine ever could create.